Okay, so uh, we're going to cook a very interesting fish for today. We're going to use some uh, swordfish. And uh, it is a Mediterranean swordfish. And I know you're going to love it because it's so simple. So simple, all right? But uh, so delicious. Only few ingredients. Yan. Hello, hello sa inyo lahat. How are you guys doing? To Norma Soriano uh, and Isa. Perfect. So, I'm gonna put you here. Oops. All right. So, this is our uh, Mediterranean swordfish. Okay. And uh, let me uh, marinate this one with some uh, garlic. Okay. I will be using uh, powdered garlic or garlic powder and uh, some cumin which is really, really good with this fish, right? You can use any kind of fish you want or uh, any kind of fish available. Can you guys, do you guys know what, what's the term for this in, uh, in Tagalog? I, I, I'm not sure about um, swordfish in Tagalog. Yan. so uh, first off, I'm going to put some uh, olive oil. Okay, I'm going to rub some olive oil in it. Awesome. This is very uh, nice, no? Especially, uh, ano siya, eh? um, fish uh, steak. No? So we can just pan sear this one. Or you have, uh, when you have grill, you can also grill this one. It would be very, very nice. All right. So um, lightly marinate it with some cumin. Touch of cumin. It's really, really nice. Very earthy. And um, very interesting yung kanyang lasa kung hindi pa na-try. And the smell is very um, particular. <laughs> I love, I really love um, cumin. Okay, dry rub lang natin siya. And yung ating uh, garlic powder. I love this because... Um, Magiging garlicky yung ating uh, swordfish. You can use any other fish, okay? Fish fillet, like tilapia or something like that. Or some codfish, no? Yung uh, very easy na ma matagpuan or available. Alright, so uh, we'll just let it sit like that for a few minutes. And while we are waiting, we're gonna make our um, peperonata sauce. Okay, it's so easy. It's very Italian. Let me just wash my hands. Okay. So, uh, peperonata. It's called peperonata because we're going to use pepperoni. Okay, this is pepperoni in Italian. Okay. So, bell peppers. Yes, yan ang bida natin ngayon dito sa ating uh, peperonata sauce. Alright. So, I will give you the trick dito sa pag-slice ng pepperoni or yung bell pepper. So, itong line na to, iiwasan lang natin siya, no? Kasi nandun yung kanyang membrane. Alright? Para mas madali, kita nyo? Madali nyo makita. Kita nyo yung membrane. Hindi na kayo mahihirapan na masyadong uh, mag-cut, alright? Kamusta kayo lahat, guys? How's uh, the situation there in the Philippines? Please stay safe. And then the red one. Itong, uh, the red one is actually uh, more for um, the aesthetic, you know, for the color. Kasi the green one is actually... It tastes better than the red one. Trust me, guys. It's, uh, its taste is more intense than the, the red one. But, of course, we need some color. So, uh, I'm going to use the red one as well. So, lots of pepperoni or uh, bell pepper. 
was so good. I tried to change the format of our video para makita nyo lalo yung ating uh, procedure. Okay? So, itong ano, tapon na natin siya. Alright. So, uh, cut this. What I'm gonna do is um, oh, hello to uh, Marion. Marion, YT. Thanks for watching. But Julian, okay, pahaba lang natin siya ihiwain. Alright? Awesome. Gawin natin yung blocks. Alright? And then later, igigisa natin siya. And this one. So, konting-konti lang yung talagang uh, ingredients niya. So, as I've said, you can use any fish you want. Like that. And that. You can do it slowly, guys. Alright? I do it fast because it's my job. I do this every day, so... But you don't have to rush. <laughs> Just be careful. Sorry to hear that, uh, Marion. Please. Uh... Oh, si Marion pala to, yung aking classmate. <laughs> Hi, Marion. Stay safe. So, um, Helen. Hi. Siyempre, si Isa hindi nawawala. And uh, now, we're going to use some... Uh, oops. We're going to use some white onions. Okay. Para hindi kayo umiiyak pag naghihiwa uh, na si buyas, okay? The trick is take off the the root, okay? This will make you cry. Okay. So I'm going to take it off. Bago niyo siya iwain. All right? Scare it in middle. Okay, then tanggalin natin yung kanyang skin. Hi, friends. Okay, skin. So, uh, you can also use some uh, red onion. But this uh, white onion is uh, better. Than that with this uh, recipe. Ooh, so yummy, this one. Okay. And now, Julian, okay, let's cut it like this. So, para pare pareho ang kanyang cooking time, alright? It's very important that when you cut things, pare pareho siya ng uh, sizes. Kasi, pag may malaki, may maliit, may nao ng maluto, may na overcook, may na undercook, alright? So, Let's go. Right. Okay. And we're done with our preparation okay so simple so easy i'm gonna preheat my pan okay so uh okay maybe use i will use the pot para ano gamitin natin yung pan for the okay perfect i'm gonna use some olive oil I always use olive oil or canola oil because it's more healthy as i always say all right and hindi na natin siya aantayin uminit masyado. Okay? I will just put it there. Okay? We don't want to fry our um, onions. Ang 
gagawin natin, inaantay lang natin siya mag-sweat. Okay? Let it sweat with the flame. Medium flame. Okay? Medium heat. So, uh, sabi ni Marion, ubra ba yung uh, request kong uh, sisig? Yes, of course. Actually, I've tried one uh, sisig. Like, it's a uh, sisig pizza. Alright? So, I, uh, I showed how I made my uh, dough, pizza dough. It's actually a classic Italian way of uh, making the pizza dough. But uh, I can do another twist in it. Don't worry. So, uh, si Helen, she's asking, ano ro ba niluluto ko today? It's a uh, swordfish, so which we are uh, marinating with uh, the rub, dry rub natin is yung uh, cumin and some garlic uh, powder, okay? You can use some garlic too, your fresh garlic if you want. So, um, slightly marinate lang naman natin kasi super malasa na siya. Alright. So, wait for it to sweat. Can you see it well, guys? Awesome. I can smell the white onions already. So nice. Yum. <laughs> it's true. Yung uh, ugat ng uh, onions yung nagpapaiyak sa atin. Oh. So, sino na ba yung mga nagpaiyak sa inyo? <laughs> Parang problema eh. Yes. I'm okay, nag-sweat na siya. So, translucent na yung ating uh, onion. Now it's time to put our uh, pepperoni or yung ating bell pepper. Okay, word of the day, pepperoni. It's Italian. Pepperoni. Okay? The way of saying that. Wow! And, ganon din yung gagawin natin sa kanya. We will let it sweat. Nice! So, very easy, very easy. Here are our ingredients, onion and bell pepper. Now, I'm going to put some, uh, one of my favorite spices, condiments, yung oregano. Mmm. Dried oregano. Just to have a touch of uh, another taste. So nice. Hi to Violeta. Good to see you. Virtually. <laughs> All right. Clean this up. Kasi ang dami dito ng, ano, ng uh, swordfish sa Sicily. I think meron din tayo nito sa Philippines. Tama ba? Tama ba guys? Correct me if I'm wrong. And now I'm going to put some uh, bay leaves. Okay? So lahat tayo nit meron na nito sa ating mga bahay-bahay. Bay leaves. Mmm. The smell is so nice. Okay, uh, Helen. A question si Helen. Paano daw gumawa ng uh, dried oregano? 
you just had you just have to uh, dehydrate the the plant the leaves no? actually the whole plant yung stem with uh, some leaves and that's it hangga sa matuyo lang siya ng husto and then you can use the leaves Nice. Hmm. I'm going to put or I'm going to add some basil leaves. Kung wala naman okay lang, this is optional. Give some uh, additional sweetness and color sa ating sauce. All right. Okay, so uh, it's sweating, and now I'm going to add some sugar, alright, to caramelize our sauce. Mga two to uh, three tablespoons. Let's caramelize our onions and bell peppers. Mm. And today I'm going to use... Uh, Aceto di mele or uh, some um, apple vinegar. Kung wala naman yung uh, normal vinegar would be fine. But I love the, the smell of this. Very particular. Wait lang natin magkaramalize ng konti and then we can put our suka. So, do you believe in that? Doon sa myth na kapag daw ginalaw mo or hinalo, nahihilaw yung suka. So, do you agree with that, guys? Mm. Caramelize a bit. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Thank you so much, Emily. Yes. Um, actually, pesce spada ang tawag namin dito sa Sicily. So, pesce spada. Uh, not because it looks like a sword, but yung kanyang uh, nozzle, no? Meron siyang uh, parang mahabang sword. Kaya siya tinawag na swordfish. But thanks thanks to that, Emily. Espada pala ang tawag sa atin ito. So, how do we cook this in the Philippines? Now, I'm going to put the vinegar. And let it evaporate. So, uh, I do believe na... Naniniwala rin ako sa myth na yon na pag hinalo, nahihilaw. But actually, hindi pa proven yung myth na yun. Ano? Walang scientific. Uh... <laughs> ah, it's actually expensive, no? Sa Philippines itong uh, swordfish. But don't worry guys, you can use some tilapia or some other fish that you want. Basta i-fillay mo muna siya bago mo siya i-marinate. Um, Alright. While we are waiting for our sauce, let's it, let it simmer. Okay. Takpan natin siya. Ngayon naman, pagpapalitin ko siya, I will heat up one pan. Alright. Touch of olive oil. And uh, this sauce, yung peperonata, you can also use not only with this fish. You can also use it with some meat or some, um, some other kind of uh, uh, protein. Alright? So 
So don't stick with the fish kasi may very versatile siya, very easy ng gawin. So Okay. Heat up natin siyang maigi. Pero would be nice. Kasi kailangan mainit na mainit yung pan natin para just a minute lang natin siya isi-sear. Okay? We don't want to overcook our uh, espada, our pesh espada. Yes, so uh, you can also use this with some uh, chicken. It's also perfect with chicken. So, uh, heat, heating up our pan. Woo. It's still hot here in Sicily. I don't know in the Philippines. Summer pa ba dyan? Or uh, tag ula na? Okay, our pan is ready. Now let's start searing. Can you hear the music? Can you hear the sound? Wow. Kung meron kayong grill sa bahay, it's better. Lalo na kung meron siyang mga grill marks. Oy, masarap yan yung espada sarsiado. Sabi ni Emily. Ni Emily. Sarap yun, ha? Where are you now, Emily? Hi, Tio, Tio Peng. It's still rainy. Yeah, it's rainy season. Ingat, ingat tayo, guys. Lalo na sa um, uh, pandemic. Alright? Medyo matatagalan pa tayo makabalik sa sa norm. So, uh, please, please stay safe everyone So, hindi pa ready yung ating sauce. Hi to my mom. Oh, she's also in the Philippines, kaya pinag-iingat ko din siya. So, hayaan lang natin siya mag-sear. High heat, okay? High heat yung ating pag-sear sa kanya. Hi to uh, Sal Saitama. Saitama with hair. Mm. We'll just reduce our uh, sauce. Let me check our fish. Wow. Nice. Okay, let me know what's your uh, favorite fish, guys. Anong madalas yung niluluto? I really enjoy cooking uh, like tuna. Actually, every kind of fish I really love. That. Oh, nice. Kita nyo, nag-caramelize na yung kanyang um, outer part, no? Say we don't want to overcook it. <laughs> so si uh, Tio Peng, uh, lagi ako nanonood ng mga luto mo, Chef. So pag weekend at may time, copy ko yung food na niluto mo. I don't know kung same ng taste, pero sabi ng kids, masarap naman. Yeah. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Maraming salamat and I'm so happy na nakakatulong yung ating recipes. And uh, sabi ni Andrew, Lapu-Lapu. Wow! It's, uh, here it's called Cernia, Cernia. And it's one of the most expensive fish here in Sicily, yung Lapu-Lapu. Yes. And napakadalang niyang, uh, napakadalang lang na meron yung Lapu-Lapu. And sabi ni Marion's, um, boneless bangus. Oh, that's awesome. That's so nice. Anong luto sa boneless? And si Enrico, 
dalagang buke. That's one of my favorite uh, fish sa atin. Uh, my favorite fish is um, gurami and <laughs> dalagang bukid. So nice. I like it uh, fried. And si uh, Violeta steam sea bass or sea bass. Nice. Sea bass. I, I like uh, sea bass when the when the skin is uh, crunchy, it's so nice. <laughs> so it's almost done, guys. It's almost done. And um, we will plate it and try our recipe for today. I hope you like it. And our um, profile is, uh, it should be like um, sweet and sour, no? Which is actually so, so, so simple. Si Emily, sabi niya, I live in London since 1972, but uh, from Bongabon, Oriental, Mindoro. Oh, nice. Let me show you the fish. Oh, look at that, guys. So, lalagay ko na siya dito since... Uh, it's ready. And uh, let's plate it. Let's check our sauce. Let me try it. Mm. Wow. So add add ko na lang ng uh, salt and pepper. Kasi okay na yung kanyang tamis and yung kanyang asim. So, luto-luto. Make sure that luto yung ating vinegar, right? Kasi otherwise, masyado siyang magiging uh, acidic. So, we don't want that. So, kita nyo. Only onions, bell pepper, oregano. Okay, that's it. Sugar and vinegar. Salt, pepper, and bay leaves. That's it. So easy. No excuses to to uh, not to make this. No, walang uh, complicated sa dish na to. Hmm. Oh wow. No betchin. Okay. Walang betchin to guys. Walang magic sarap. <laughs> nice. So, uh, sabi ni Freesome, or Firesome, bakit di po kayo nag-add ng ginger? Yes, uh, yung kasing uh, peperonata, or this one, yung ating sauce, uh, hindi siya Asian style. Kasi pag nilagyan ko siya ng ginger, it will be, it will be more on the Asian side na. Okay. So I just wanted to um, I made this this version para masubukan or ma-try nyo itong Italian sauce na ito. Okay? So uh, para uh, ma-share ko din sa inyo yung uh, experience dito sa sa sauce na to. So pwede niyo siyang gamitin with uh, or iluto with sa meat, some uh, beef or some chicken. Even with fried stuff, it's good. Okay. Let's go to plate our dish. All right. So, maybe I will plate it like this. Because it's maganda yung kanyang shape, di ba guys? Wow. And of course, yung ating, yung ating sauce. Oh, last time, may nagtanong guys, ano ba yung gamit kong uh, pot and pans? It's uh, from uh, Casanova. It's really good kasi yung handle niya, pwede mo na siyang ilagay sa, sa oven kung gusto mo mag-oven. So, hindi siya natutunaw. 
So, lagyan natin yung sauce. Sarap. And kita nyo, hindi na ako guys naglagay ng uh, cornstarch para para mag-thicken yung kanyang sauce. At, uh, rather, ni-reduce na lang natin siya. Kasi mayroon na siyang uh, sugar and vinegar. Pag nag-evaporate yung uh, vinegar at nag-caramelize yung sugar, doon na lumalapot yung ating sauce. So, I don't need cornstarch. Lalo na kung wala kayong cornstarch sa bahay. It's fine. Don't worry. Or yung ating slurry. Yes, tilapia. It's perfect with the tilapia. Escabeche. Yes. <laughs> Gusto mo ba to Enrico, yung ating plate? Okay. So, add some uh, basil. Just to add some uh, color. Just like that. And that's it. All you are crudo. Just a little bit. Maybe I will add uh, just some slices of uh, lemon. Para pwede mo rin siyang pigaan ng lemon later. Nice. So easy, so simple. Diba? Or lang kahirap-hirap. Nothing complicated. Few ingredients. That's how you make a beautiful and delicious dish. So, do you like it, guys? Okay, so, um... Uh, some question. I will entertain some questions bago tayo mag um, try. And sabi ni, pwede po bang maglagay ng ingredients like tokwa? Or, yes, 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 yes. So, um, you can make your own version ng ating uh, peperonata. Peperonata sauce and some, uh, any protein you want, any vegetable you want to put. But uh, the main point is, I want to tell everyone that even though you have only two or three ingredients at home, you can cook, right? There's no excuse. And uh, you can make good food with that, right? And, um, sino pa may tanong? Sabi ni uh, Ma Maria. Hi, Maria. Good evening. Try ko yan. Madali lang and masarap pa. That, that's good. That's great. Yes. And uh, I will try it now. Just gonna take some uh, fork. Okay, any fish, okay guys, even chicken, you can use this. Okay, pigaan natin ng uh, lemon. Para mas fresh. Alright, let's dig in. Make sure luto din yung ating... Uh, Ano ba tawag dito? Yung bell pepper and yung onions. Kasi pag hindi siya luto, masyado siyang uh, aggressive yung kanyang lasa. Alright? And yung uh, fish, kailangan perfectly done. Mm. Wow, guys. You should try this. And um, take note, Don't forget to put the cumin. Alright? Kasi yung cumin yung kanyang best ingredient or yung nagdala sa dish na to. It complements the protein with the bell pepper. Okay? So it's not a normal uh, sarsiado or uh, Filipino dish. Kasi yung cumin, siya yung nagdala sa dish. I will try one more. It's really, really good. No joke. <laughs> I'm not joking. It's really good. So I'm not selling this dish to you guys, but you, sh you have to try. Mmm. 
You can eat this with some bread or um, rice. Mm. And I always say this, don't use some MSG or uh, magic. <laughs> Not because ayoko, but it's better to have the understanding of every ingredients, okay? Every component of the dish. Kasi pag may laging magic, pag laging may magic, and laging may MSG, and one time na wala sila, paano na kung hindi mo na iintindihan yung uh, pag-balance out ng taste ng dish, di ba? So, um, I suggest kung kaya namang iwasan, you can learn uh, balancing out your dish by yourself, no? Rather than using those uh, those stuffs, di ba? So, that's my... That's my uh, advice. And use some uh, umami flavor from other things, from other ingredients. All right, so... Uh, oh, si Rosalinda. <laughs> so busy. And uh, maraming maraming salamat. Hi to uh, Dar Darkan. Yes, a new supporter. So uh, we're doing live sessions every week. No? And some videos and uh, I'll see you again on Wednesday I might have one uh, one guest na I'm sure I think kilala nyo siya so I'll see you guys soon yeah all right so uh, I think that's it for today I hope you like our uh, recipe I'm gonna show you one more time so this is our uh, pan seared swordfish with our peperonata sauce yes I'll see you guys soon. Thank you so much. Bye. Happy cooking. <laughs>